From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Rory Johnston. Here are your latest headlines. The family of a man killed when a piece of concrete smashed through his windshield has now offered a $5,000 reward in the case. Police say someone likely threw the chunk of concrete over the Shelby Avenue bridge, hitting Joe Shelton Jr.'s windshield, killing him. Officials say the concrete was not part of the bridge structure, but more closely resembled a concrete curb. This happened just before 5 a.m. last Tuesday. Call police if you know anything that could help solve that case. Janie Rudolph was told her father died of a heart attack nearly 30 years ago, but last week she learned he was alive and she reunited with him. Rudolph family members, including Janie, moved around and admitted they lost touch with one another. For 26 years, though, Janie thought her dad, Ronnie, was no longer alive until she did some digging after her mother died four months ago. She found out her dad was indeed still alive, living in Lebanon. She arranged a family reunion, introducing Ronnie to grandchildren and great-grandchildren he didn't even know he had. It's still unclear why they were told he died in the first place. Last August, all officer Jeff Tharp could think about was getting back to work after finding out he had a brain tumor. Two months later, he was able to do just that. And today, Metro PD honored Officer Tharp with the 2018 Theodore Roosevelt Police Award for his outstanding service. Tharp shared his experience about how the tumor impacted his life. And probably about a few days later, I was able to see a whole lot better. I was, it was surprising to me how much of my peripheral vision was gone. I could go so far over and I couldn't see a thing. He said, if you had waited another year, you'd probably be blind. The 25 year veteran made the decision to retire this summer. We wish him well. Now let's get a check of your forecast. Here's Bree. So we've got some improvements. It's just all painstakingly slow. Overnight tonight, that wind switches out of the south. This is key. This is key to getting us out of this uh, frigid air mass. It's the key to our big thaw. Still a cold morning, though. You'll wake up in the low 30s and upper 20s in outlying areas. Despite the fact that tomorrow will be cloudy and we'll have on and off light showers, it'll still be warmer. Mid 50s, mid 60s for Friday. Heavy rain Friday night into Saturday with a few rumbles of thunder.